What's up, man? 25 gamers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video, we're going to be introducing you to our. We're bringing back a series we did in 2013. We're going to be doing it again this year in 20, 2014. The series is called Blitz of the Day, where we showcase a nice pressure blitz every single day, teaching you the basics, the techniques of blitzing. We're going to talk about some real NFL concepts throughout this series. Uh, but today, we want to get you off, started off with a bang with one of our best pressure blitzes. Uh, and it's what we call passive pressure, in that we're not. We're sending we're giving up the element of quick hop heavy pressure um, for more uh, a better coverage behind our blitz and um, here today we're going to be showing you a blitz that really doesn't take too much to set up um, and you see we're going to get pressure sending two guys at the quarterback uh, coming off the edge one of the beauties of Madden 25 next gen is the way that the offensive lineman works is is a lot more um realistic in terms of you want to blitz from different slants and different stunts and we showcase this today in our play for today um, our play is the roll eagle to invert here real quick we'll choose a new play we'll just show you what play it is and a lot of gamers you know a lot of people won't pick this play coming out it, they think it's you know it's a safety blitz it's not that good fourth year plus it's one been one of the best formations for the last two seasons the roll eagle to invert is the play here sorry if I bumped the microphone and what you want to do, uh, and the setup is pretty easy. You can set it up with, you could set up more consistently, which is our first setup. And that's all we want to do is show blitz. And if we, when we show blitz, you see it's going to come in off the edge, just like it did in the instant replay I showed you before. And that's our first one. Now that's sending five guys at the quarterback. Just show blitz and it's going to come in off that edge. That time Irvin came in. Okay, but here is our advanced setup. To only send two. Spy this guy. Um, basically, you're just going to zone off everyone on the right side. Okay, they don't necessarily they don't necessarily have to be in this exact order, but I'm going to say spy McDaniel, flat zone Williams, and then put Brian in like a deep zone or something. And typically, that pressure is going to roll in off the edge, as we saw in the first couple of examples. Now, in Madden 25, as you all know sometimes and I have to be quick on my clicks because I don't have two controllers to show you this um, that's the one problem with uh, defense and practice mode if you don't have two controllers but there you see the blitz come in pretty well once if I could ever get my players to set up Peyton Manning's just quick snap me like a boss right now uh, even though he should be doing a million hot routes you'd think but anyway you see the point of the the idea that you're wanting them to roll from one side and the beauty of this play is if you set it up fast enough, you can, like, there it is, that's a perfect, there it is, that's the example I wanted to show you. What we ended up doing, let's look at this one more time here in instant replay, just to kind of bring it all together here. So, what we did was we put this guy right here, this defensive tackle over the center 99 is in a quarterback spy. This defensive tackle number 90 is in a flat zone. We don't need a buzz zone because he's already in a buzz zone. So we're going to either have an option. Red Bryant, we can do whatever we want. We could put him in a man assignment. If we're going to do a man assignment, I recommend manning up with number 90, um, the, defensive, the, the defensive tackle on the right side, instead of uh, Red Bryant, the defensive end on the right side, because that way you can man him up. He's still going to go to the guy, and then you can put Bryant in the flat zone, and that's going to be he's already out in the flat, so he'll be just, it'll be a little bit better for screen protection. But anyways, my point is we, we can do whatever we want with Brian. In this example, we dropped him into the deep zone to give us a three deep shell. And here we see at the snowball, this, this is exactly what's supposed to happen. Bruce Irvin is supposed to occupy both the tackle and guard by pushing up field. Using the next-gen pass rushing system, we can utilize that to our advantage. And as you see, we get that push up field, and then Cam Chancellor just loops around Ryan Clady and for the sack. So that's the idea behind it. And that's what you do. If you, But you need to do the show blitz. Now, you can zone people off if you want to. If you don't want to, it's not that big of a deal. You're still going to get pressure. One more time, I want to show you what it looks like when you just run it regular just without showing, um, without dropping the zones. That time, it didn't work because my players were moving before the snap. I needed. I should have picked an auto motion play. But we'll, we'll get one more example here, and then we'll, we'll head out for today. But uh, while, while we're running through these uh, examples, I want you to go ahead and check out that description below. It really helps me out a lot. Uh, one of the things you, you, know, you can do, as always, uh, is hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. That really helps me out. Both buttons are huge. Uh, the subscribe button is going to keep you up to date on all of my Madden 25 content. 
uh, over the course of this season. And then uh, if they you want to hit that like button, that's just going to let people know that this is a, a pretty respectable Madden 25 video that can help you get better. That's all, basically all it means. And there you see the wraparound pressure that we're talking about. So thank you for your time today, guys. Um, that's all we've got for you today. Um, this is a pretty good pressure blitz. This is something you can expect daily. It may not be a, one this good, a fine this good, but uh, this is our Blitz of the Day series, and we're going to be getting back to doing this every single day from here on out uh, for the rest of this year. So thanks for your time, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to come back later in the day. We're going to have a couple more video videos coming to you this evening. Thank you for your time, guys. Be sure to stay tuned to all the content coming soon.